Hello and welcome to Power Over Parkinson's yoga class. Today we're going to be working on just a few different poses. Um, these are beginner level poses. Um, some materials that will be helpful during this practice will be a yoga mat and some yoga blocks if you have some. So for our first pose, um, we are going to be seated crisscross applesauce on a yoga mat. If you have a yoga block, you can go ahead and put that underneath your tailbone. This will help elongate your spine and help you sit up nice and tall. I'm gonna move to the side here just so you can see where the placement is of the yoga block. So we're gonna work on our breathing to get started here. Focus our mind, center our heart, prepare for our practice. You can rest your hands on your knees or on your thighs, whatever feels comfortable. You're gonna inhale, feel the oxygen filling your lungs and exhale. You can close your eyes, you can leave them open just feeling the oxygen enter your body and leave your body. Feeling your rib cage expand and noticing how it makes you feel when you're taking a deep breath. You can put your hands on your rib cage to feel the ribs expanding as your lungs fill with oxygen and decreasing as you exhale. I'm gonna take a few more breaths here. Inhaling and exhaling. You can go ahead and remove that yoga block if you used one. We're gonna go ahead and stretch our legs out with a slight bend in our knees. We're gonna stretch out our ankles by doing some rotations and circles around. Remembering to breathe, feeling your ankles loosening up. Now we're gonna go the opposite way. And go ahead and flatten your legs. We're going to extend and flex our toes, almost like a gas pedal, breathing in with each motion. So extending and flexing our toes. Working on working, waking up our body from our toes to our head. We're going to go ahead and wiggle our toes just a little bit. Gonna go ahead and bend your knees and then you're gonna flatten one leg out and you're gonna switch and bend and then flatten the legs out. Remembering to breathe during each exercise. Noticing how your body feels when you engage your breath with each moment movement gonna have that slight bend in our knees and we're gonna rotate our legs back and forth feeling a slight stretch in our lower back this is almost like a windshield movement the deeper you go the deeper the stretch is going to be we're gonna do this a few more times back and forth feeling the stretch in our back Going to bring your legs back to crisscross applesauce. You're going to center your body on the mat and we're going to reach from side to side. Again, stretching out our spine, elongating it as we reach, remembering to breathe with each movement.
And do this a few more times, stretching out each part of the body. We've started with the ankles, the toes, the hips, and now the back. Now we're gonna do these rotations with our trunk. We're gonna engage our core and use our core muscles to rotate our body around. You can do little circles or deep circles. You can rest your hands on your knees, remembering to inhale and exhale as your body moves. Now we're going to go the opposite way and remembering to engage our core, taking deep breaths. You can go as deep as you want into the circle or just a little circle. You make it work for you. Next, we're gonna do some shoulder rolls. So these can be large shoulder rolls forward or smaller shoulder rolls. Now we're gonna go backwards, remembering to breathe with each movement. Gonna go switch back to rolling them forward. Remembering to inhale and exhale through each movement, connecting your body and your mind and your breath. Next, we're gonna stretch out our neck here. We're gonna look down and we're gonna turn our head, feeling a slight stretch in our neck. Remember to sit up as tall as possible. Looking down and then switching to the other side. Remembering to breathe with each movement. And do this a few more times, stretching out our neck, remembering to breathe. Your hands can be rested on your lap or on your knees, whatever is most comfortable for you. Next, we're going to do a slight twist. So bringing that hand to the opposite knee and feeling that twist in our back. I'm going to switch to the opposite side, remembering to breathe as you twist into this movement, inhaling and exhaling. going to switch to the opposite side. Right. And next we're going to bring our hands together up overhead pushing the oxygen out of our lungs, bringing back to heart center, bringing our hands together and pushing out as we round our back. Our palms should be facing outward. We're going to inhale, bring our arms up overhead, exhale, push our arms down, bringing our arms back together, rounding our back as we push our arms out, palms facing out. 
Next, we're going to bring our arms back overhead, inhaling and exhaling on the breath, bringing our arms together, rounding our back, but keeping our palms facing us this time. Notice the how it makes your body feel when you're inhaling that oxygen and exhaling. Next pose we're going to go into is called boat pose. There's going to be a slight bend in your knees and you're going to extend your body, engaging your core. The more you extend your body, the more your core is going to be engaged. You can lift up your legs for a more challenging boat pose or you can extend your legs just like so. You want to engage your core, looking forward, pushing your chest outward. Remembering to breathe during this pose, taking a break, coming back to center. We're going to come up into standing. So our first pose is we're going to fill our lungs with oxygen, reaching our hands overhead. Exhale, pushing the oxygen out of our lungs. Inhale and exhale. You can do large suns or small suns, depending on what works for you. But we're remembering to breathe through each movement. These are the little suns that if you're having shoulder pain, you can do. Remembering to inhale, bringing your arms up overhead and exhale, pushing the oxygen out of our lungs. We're feeling our rib cage expand as we breathe in and decrease as we breathe out. Next pose we're going to go into is a lunge. So you can use a wall or a chair for balance. I'm going to turn to the side here just so you can see. You can hold onto a wall. It does not take away from the, the pose at all. You're remembering to breathe and we're going to switch feet. Switching feet again, you're either holding on to a chair, a wall, or nothing. You can rest your hands on your hips here. We're going to bring our arms back overhead, inhaling and exhaling, bringing our arms down. Bringing them back overhead, inhaling, pushing the lung, the oxygen out. Next pose we're going to go into is called Warrior One. So one foot's going to, toes are pointed forward. Back toes do not have to be exactly aligned, but can have a slight angle, leaning into that lunge. Bringing our arms up overhead, engaging your core remembering to breathe. Again, you can use a chair or a wall to hold on to. You don't have to lift your arms up overhead. It does not take away from the pose. You're remembering to engage that core for stability, breathing, inhaling and exhaling. Gonna come back to center, bringing our arms up overhead, exhaling on the way down. The next pose we're gonna go into is called Warrior Two. So one foot, your toes are gonna be pointed forward. The, neck, the back foot, your foot's gonna be turned and you're gonna have your heel to heel matching. You're gonna bend into that lunge, lifting your arms up. 
Again, you can use a wall or a chair to hold on to. It does not take away from the pose. You're remembering to breathe, engaging your core. We're gonna go ahead and switch sides here. Bending forward, lifting those arms up. Remembering to breathe and engage your core. Going to show you what it looks like against the wall. If you have longer legs, you might be further away from the wall, but you can use that wall to hold on to to help you balance. You don't have a wall, you can use a chair. Going to switch sides, heels are matching. One toe forward, the other sideways. Coming back to center here. We're gonna breathe in, filling our lungs with air, and exhale, breathing out. Inhale, filling our lungs with oxygen, exhale. The next pose we're gonna go into is called tree pose. So we're gonna bring our foot to our calf area here. You can bring your arms to heart center, have them resting on your hips, or using a wall or a chair for stability. You're remembering to gauge your core and breathing through this exercise. If this is too easy for you, you can bring your foot all the way up here. You do not want your heel or your foot resting on your knee area. You want it above your knee if you're planning to do this. But again, you can just have it resting here or doing a slight kickstand on your heel. Bringing our arms to heart center or holding onto a wall during this pose. Remembering to breathe. We're gonna switch sides. Do we inhale and exhale on the breath? Switch sides, bring that opposite foot to the opposite leg. Hands to heart center or on your hips or you're using a wall to hold onto. Again, you can bring this leg up over the knee, bring your hands to heart center. If the other poses are too easy for you, can make it a little more challenging. Remembering to breathe and engage your core for stability. Going to switch sides. Remembering to breathe. And we're gonna switch sides again. Next, we're gonna bring our arms up overhead, filling our lungs with oxygen. Bring, exhale, bringing them down. Remember, you can incorporate these little half suns. Next pose we're gonna do is called chair pose. So we're gonna go in a seated position Hips are going to be back. Back is neutral and elongated your spine. You're going to feel the engagement in your leg muscles, a slight bend in your knee. You can use a wall to hold on to. You can bring your hands to heart center or have them resting on your knees or your hips. You're going to come facing forward this time just so you can see what it looks like at a different angle. Remembering to breathe as you engage your leg muscles. We're going to try bringing our arms up overhead, pushing the air down. Again, you can incorporate those little suns. Bringing our arms up overhead, pushing the oxygen out. Remembering to breathe during this pose. Engaging those leg muscles. 
Go ahead and take a break, shake out your legs. We're gonna go ahead and do this again. I'm gonna turn to the side, going back into chair pose. Spine is flat, legs are engaged, hips are back, hands are heart-centered or holding onto a chair or wall. I'm gonna go ahead and hold this here. We're holding and now we're resting. Go ahead and shake out those legs. Gonna go back into chair spine or chair pose. Spine is neutral, hips are back, core is engaged. You're remembering to breathe. And go ahead and rest. Shake out those legs one more time. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rock our heels, bringing our toes back. Standing on our tippy toes, you can use a chair or a wall to hold on to for stability. Bring our toes back and rocking. This can be a large rock or a small rock, depending on what you feel comfortable with. Shake out those legs one more time, bringing your arms up overhead. Exhaling on the way down, inhaling, filling your lungs with oxygen, bringing your arms back down. And do this a few more times, remembering to breathe. You can look up to the ceiling. It might help you bring your arms up higher overhead, engaging your mind, your body, your breath. Bringing your arms up overhead, filling your lungs with oxygen, feeling your rib cage expand. Next, we're gonna do is we're gonna come back down into our seated position. We're gonna I'm gonna turn to the side here because we're gonna go back into that boat pose we did earlier. Our legs, our knees are gonna have a slight bent in them feet planted on the ground you're going to extend engaging that core engage engage and go all the way down to your mat we're going to take that block and we're going to stick it between our knees here we're going to go into our bridge pose feet planted on the ground lifting our hips up in the air bringing them back down remembering to breathe bringing our hips up in the air Engaging our core, remembering to breathe. You can lift your heels up if you want more of a challenge. So lift in your hips and your heels. Your heels can remain planted if you prefer that. We're gonna hold our hips, holding them up in the air, engaging our core, remembering to breathe. Bringing our hips back down to the ground and bringing them back up and holding. Bringing it back down to the ground, removing that block from our knees. We're gonna go into our final pose of Savasana. We're gonna extend our legs, palms open. Thank, being thankful for this practice, closing our eyes. Inhaling and exhaling the oxygen. being thankful for our body. I'm 
going to go ahead and wiggle our toes, wiggle our fingers, turn our body to the side, pushing up, coming back into the seated position of crisscrossed applesauce. Thank you for attending the Power of Parkinson's yoga class. You can bring your hands to center.